Now, another particular type of volumes are persistent volumes and persistent volume claims. Now, one note here that the lack of the word persistent when talking about volumes can be a little bit misleading. So if you are using any cloud provider storage volume types, such as Azure file or AWS elastic block store, the data will be persistent. The persistent volume and persistent volume claims are just a way to abstract how Kubernetes provisions the storage. A persistent volume or PV is another volume type you can use to mount a persistent volume into a pod. Using a persistent volume and persistent volume claim, you can claim a portion of a durable storage, such as persistent disks from cloud providers, without actually knowing any details about the cloud environment or how that storage was provisioned or created. If you think about this as a user or a developer, you only want to grab a piece of durable storage to store your app's data, but you don't necessarily care about the data's location or how that storage was provisioned. There are two ways to create persistent volumes. So they're usually either provisioned by the cluster administrator. So the cluster administrator goes in and manually creates the persistent volume or they're dynamically provisioned using storage classes. So once the persistent volume is created, you need a way to request it or claim a piece of that storage. You can do that using the persistent volume claim. Inside the persistent volume claim, you can request a volume of a specific size and different access modes. For example, you might have multiple persistent volumes available. One might be optimized for heavy reads, the other optimized for writes, and so on. When you create a persistent volume claim, a Kubernetes controller will try to match the persistent volume claim with a requested persistent volume and then bind them together. In case the matching persistent volume does not exist, the claim will remain unbound. As soon as the volume is available again, the claim will get bound to it. 